Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexa in the Ahlavath High School and the Junior College. Welcome to our series of the lectures, Intermediate First Year, Maths B. We have started our discussion with the different concepts of 1B. That is, we have started with locus, transmission, straight lines, pair of straight lines and 3D geometry. Today, we are going to discuss a new topic that is DCs and DS, which is nothing but direction cosines and directional ratios. What do you mean by the term direction cosines? Tell me the cosine, the term itself you can identify that we are going to something which is going to discuss with the cosine of a 3D geometry, right? Isn't it? Yes or no? For example, if there is x axis, y axis and one more z axis. If I say there is a particular line, so let us say some PQ which is making an angle alpha or let me assume some line which is moving in between. This line making an alpha with the x axis, beta with the y axis and gamma with the z axis. Okay, this is some line L. Then this line is making these three angles. Then we have to define its direction. Isn't it? Uh, let me go into some basics of thing. For example, if there is some x and y axis like this. Right? If this is my line making an angle alpha. Okay? Then if I want to find this particular distance L. What we will do? Tell me. Say here. We will mark this point. Isn't it? Then we will make this as right angle triangle. Okay. If this is a right angle triangle, this is alpha and this is the adjacent we have to find. I know the distance of that particular point from the origin. Isn't it? If I say this is R, then cos alpha is equal to L by R. Can I write L as R cos alpha? Isn't it? Yes or no? Can I find the direction by using this? Alpha is nothing but the direction, right? This is a rotationary movement. If my alpha is 30 degrees, my line will go in this direction. If it is 45 degrees, this will go like this. If it is 90 degrees, that will go like this, right? When, if it is only two axes, okay? It doesn't mean it will move in the right or left or uh, some kind of thing, okay? If it is 2D plane, it will either move in the, this direction, right, left, top, bottom. Isn't it? Whereas in 3D, it can even move from the front and back, right? Just in order to find its direction, we will measure its cosines. That is nothing but direction cosines, which are cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. Why only cos? Because with that only we will get the value of this adjacent thing. Isn't it? Uh, just try to remember that if L, M, N are DCs, then they are nothing but cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma, right? If these are the points, then what is the point on which uh, we are going to measure that R? That is nothing but that point will be L, R, M, R, N, R, where R is the distance of that particular point from origin. Is it clear? Fine, uh, the different rules to remember about this DCC is L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1 where L, M, N are DCs, right? And uh, if he asks us to find the DCs of P, Q where P, Q is a line passing from P to Q. P is X1, Y1, Z1, Q is X2, Y2, Z2. That is X2 minus X1 by under root summation X2 minus X1 whole square. What do you mean by this term? For example, if there are two points, 1, 2, 3 and 3, 2, 1, some kind of uh, the two points, then how to find the DCs is, first of all, we have to subtract this, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 2, 0, 1 minus 3 is minus 1. Now, the, here the summation x2 minus x1 whole square, what do you mean by that? That is, x2 minus x1 is 2, the summation will be again, yes, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1. This indicates that this is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Is it okay? Under root. That is nothing but 2 square plus 0 square plus minus 1 whole square. 2 square is 4, 1 square is 
5 ok by under root 5 this is how we will find the DCs. Shall we do a few problems? Let's start. Now see here the question given here it is he is asking us to find DCs of sides of a triangle whose vertices are these three points are given right. Now let us assume that the first point is P second point is Q third point is R then in order to find the DCs we will separate it for PQ, QR and PR ok. Now let us write DCs of PQR x2 minus x1 isn't it that is minus 1 minus 3 comma 1 minus 5 comma 2 plus 4 divided by let us write as it is x2 minus x1 whole square summation x2 minus x1 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 1 minus 5 is minus 4 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by which number we have to do now under root this square plus this square plus this square what are these 4 square is 16, 4 square is 16, 16 plus 16 is 32, 6 square is 36, 32 plus 36 is nothing but 68, can we solve it that is root 68, root 68, if you want to solve uh, we can solve it more right, how do we solve, we can take uh, divided by 4 that is 17 into 4 that is nothing but 2 root 17 that can be written as minus 4 by 2 root 17 minus 4 by 2 root 17 6 by 2 root 17 2 ones are 2 2 are 2 ones are 2 2 are 2 ones are 2 three are therefore my answer is minus 2 by root 17 minus 2 by root 17 3 by root 17 is it clear now let us write it for second point qr DCs of QR is let me write it directly minus 5 plus 1 that is minus 4 minus 5 minus 1 minus 6 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 again 4 square 6 square 4 square that is again root 68 which is nothing but 2 root 17 2 root 17 2 root 17 2 ones are 2 twos are 2 ones are 2 threes are 2 ones are 2 twos are therefore my answer is minus 2 by root 17 minus 3 by root 17 minus 2 by root 17 clear now let us find it for third one dcs of rp uh, let us write it in order you know uh, to avoid a uh, confusion kind of thing see here 3 plus 5 8 5 plus 5 10 minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 divided by 64 plus 100 plus 4 that is nothing but 168 168 isn't it once again let me check here 64 164 168 how to write 168 right by 4 is 42 therefore this can be written as 8 by 2 root 42 10 by 2 root 42 minus 2 by 2 root 42 2 2 2 1s are 2 5s are 2 1s are 2 4 so therefore my answer is 4 by root 42 5 by root 42 minus 1 by root 42 is it clear did you understand fine these are the basic questions uh, which we will use this kind of uh, steps in our long answer question shall we order the important long answer question let's do now see here the question given here it is find the dcs of uh, the lines joining this uh, two equations that is l minus 5m plus 3n equal to 0 and 7l square plus 5m square minus 3n square equal to 0 what are dcs that is l m n right that is nothing but if i solve these two equations uh, do i get the values of lmn Yes, obviously, isn't it? 
fine we will also learn about the direction ratios in the between of this uh, question okay now see here let us solve these two equation right which is a suitable method let us use the substitution method that is let us take from 1 let us take the value of m as 5m minus 3n and substitute in equation 2 can we yes we can see here that is 7 into 5m minus 3n whole square plus 5m square minus 3n square is equal to 0 7 into this is a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab 5 3 is a 15 15 2 is a 30 mn again plus 5m square minus 3n square equal to 0 now check here 7 into 25 how much is it 175 m square 7 9 is a 63 n square 7 3 is a 210 mn plus 5m square minus 3n square now check here 175 plus 5 is 180 m square 63 minus 60 is 60 n square minus 210 mn is there anything common uh, from these three terms 180 60 210 can I take 30 as common yes we can write if I take 30 as common I will get it as 60 m square I mean 6 m square 6 m square here 2 n square here 7 m n can we factorize it tell me uh, let me write in the equation form isn't it 6 2 is 12 how to factorize it that is nothing but 4 3 is right let us do it 6 m square minus 4 m n minus 3 m n plus 2 n square equal to 0 let me take 2 m common here if I take 2 m common here that will become 3 m minus 2 1 here if I take n as common that will become 3 m minus 2 1 equal to 0 the next is we will take 3 m minus 2 n as common here 2 m minus n is equal to 0 is it clear either we will get 3 m is equal to 2 n by 3 uh, that mean m is equal to 2 n by 3 or m is equal to n by 2 these are the two cases which we got now let us substitute the value of m here let me check what we will get okay what is the value of m here 2 n by 3 and one more m is n by 2 let us do it separately for m is equal to 2 n by 3 and one more is for m is equal to n by 2 is it clear let us substitute in equation 2 I mean this one from L is equal to 5 m minus 3 n L is equal to 5 into what is m 2 n by 3 minus 3 n that is if I take 3 as LCM this will be 10 n minus 9 n that is nothing but L is equal to 1 by 3 n clear the same thing let us do here also l is equal to 5m minus 3n 5 what is m n by 2 minus 3n if i take 2 as lcm 5n minus 6n that is minus n by 2 this is the value of l clear now check what is the ratio of l is to m is to n here if you check here that will be 1 by 3 n is to 2 by 3 n is to n if I take n as common and 3 here I will get it as 1 is to 2 is to here 3 is it right these particular numbers are called as direction ratios that is 1 comma 2 comma 3 is it clear or else you can simply remember that the ratio of the ratios of the DCs are nothing but DRs. Okay. 
or else simply you can remember that the difference between the two number I mean two points we do not have points here well uh, solve in uh, next exercise that is if I give two points uh, how to find DC is we will subtract first x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and then we will normalize it is it right similarly before normalizing whatever the points we have those are nothing but drs clear see here let us write the same thing here l is to m is to n what is l minus n by 2 what is m n by 2 n is again n that is nothing but minus 1 is to 1 is to 2 therefore drs are minus 1 1 and 2 and how to find dcs that is simple right we have to find the denominator right that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square that is 1 plus 4 plus 9 which is nothing but root 14 here r is 1 plus 1 plus 4 which is root 6 ok clear fine therefore dc's are 1 by root 14 2 by root 14 3 by root 14 here dc's are minus 1 by root 6 1 by root 6 and 2 by root 6 is it clear did you understand did you understand once again let's see here he asking us to find dc's of l minus 5m plus 3 n equal to 0 7 l square plus 5 m square minus 3 n equal to n square equal to 0 how much may arana they call either first equation may say l ka value 5 m minus 3 n well said this 5 m that's a that will become plus plus 3 n will become minus 3 n well substitute this value in the second equation isn't it fine uh, while substituting we will simplify it that is 5 m minus 3 n whole square plus 5 m square minus 3 n square right if i substitute this i mean after substituting we have to simplify this a minus b whole square ok we will multiply and we will find out i mean we will factorize it then we will get the relation between m and n as m is equal to 1 by 3 and m is equal to n by 2 we got two cases we will solve differently for two different cases that is for m equal to 2 n by 3 and one more is m equal to n by 2 do not think that after this I have written this first and written this second ok these are the two different cases this is for m equal to n by 2 n by 3 that is for m equal to n by 2 right we will substitute the value of m in this we will get the value of m again in the in the terms of n we will find the ratio l is to m is to n we will get it as 1 is 1 2 3 ok then we, these are the nothing but drs then we will find the denominator and we will divide it then we will get the dcs in the both the cases clear fine this is a question where we find the dcs when two relations are given that is a relationship between l m n clear fine let us move on to the next session with the more problems of dcs and dcs thank you